In this Dragonfly 3 training video, we're going to look at the clip box feature that is associated with image channels. We're also going to look at the cropping operation associated with image channels. And finally, we're going to look at a tool in Dragonfly that allows you to realign an image channel to a new axis based on the current point of view from one of your viewpoints. Now, for this demo, I have a data set loaded which is a micro CT of a thorny devil or a Moloch that was scanned at the UTCT imaging facility in Austin, Texas. I said that the first thing we would look at is the clip box which is associated with an image channel. If I have nothing selected, as I do now, you won't see the clip box, op clip box option. If I select one of my image channels, you'll see in 3D settings show clip box. This allows you to see the clip box boundaries in the different MPR views as well as the 3D view. You can interactively drag these edges in the 2D view, as you see here, and you can see it updates the 3D view at the same time. You can also drag the arrows in the 3D view, and you can see the corresponding behavior here. You also have the ability to drag the center of the box, so you can move the box around. If you drag up and release, you now have a smaller box, so now I can move this clip box around. To enable the clip box, I clicked this checkbox. There's also a configurable action that by default is the B, as in boy, key to toggle it on and off. There's also a configurable action to reset the clip box, which is the V, as in Victor key, which will reset to the full bounds. So this allows me to restrict with my clip box what is being seen in the rendering. Now in this case I can try and draw a clip box to get a smaller volume but I won't be able to get an optimal box because of the orientation of my data. So let me do a little bit of clipping and that's probably as far as I can go. With that clip I can choose to do a crop operation which will crop this data set to a smaller volume. If I right click on the image channel you will see the crop operation, which pulls up the data set cropper tool. It shows you the X boundaries, in this case X is set to 1 and 1024, the Y boundaries 210 and 880 in this case, and the Z boundaries 1 and 780. I can override these by typing them in, but you see that these are the values that were derived from my interactive manipulation. So you can override it or leave the ones you interactively derived, or you can further manipulate this way. You can either choose to apply the crop operation to the existing data set with this unchecked and it will apply the crop or you can tell it to create a new data set so you'll have your initial data set which is uncropped and your cropped data set. I'm going to turn this checkbox off so I can crop my existing data set. Now I have a smaller volume. I can probably get an even smaller volume for this data set if I were to register the data or align the data in a more meaningful way. I'm going to turn off the clip box and show you what I mean. Dragonfly allows me to derive a new image channel based on my current view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a view that gives me a more useful orientation. I'm going to use this view here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and derive a view that walks right down the axis of this Moloch. So as I manipulate these views, we can see this view looks pretty good, but as I get here, you can see that, well, I'm only seeing one of the limbs instead of both, so maybe I want to do uh, a little bit of operations like this. And I can reposition, and I can reposition my axes until I have something I like. Now that looks pretty good. So if I like this orientation, which is the green view, so it's this view. If I want to derive a new data set, which would go from the top of this green view all the way down this way. I can do that by selecting this view and telling it by right click I want to derive a new channel from the current view. When I click the button it allows me it initially it starts executing the operation of computing a new data set. So now I have two data sets they're exactly the same, they're in the same space in my 3D view, but if I turn on the clip box for the first, you'll see it here, and I turn on the clip box for the second, you see it has a different orientation, because 
the orientation of the second is directly aligned with this particular view. I'm going to turn off the visibility of my first image data set and so you can see if I want to I can now work on the clip behavior of the second data set and so I can get in a tighter box this way. So this shows you that if you have a data set that's not quite oriented in an optimal way you can just use the regular tools for orienting your particular slice view, your MPR view, to get an optimal orientation for your clip operation. So that shows you the behavior of the clip box, how to reset the clip box, how to toggle it on and off, and it also shows you the crop behavior and it further shows you how to take the currently selected view and derive a new image channel. So that concludes this discussion on the behavior of the clip and the crop and the derived new channel from current view. Thank you.